Heavenly Father, I come to you today thanking you, Lord, for finding the mercy in yourself to give it to me this morning, Lord, to let me see another day, Lord, to watch over my family, Lord, my loved ones, Lord, that you know I would miss if they weren't here, Lord. I thank you for giving them another blessed day, Lord. I thank you for anyone that received another blessed day, Lord, because none of us were guaranteed that day, Lord. For those who have stepped into another realm, Lord, we just send out condolences to the family and love to the families for the time that they had with their loved ones, Lord. May you comfort them in their time of need, Lord. May you love on them and may they find peace knowing that you make the right decisions all the time, Lord. I pray for the victims of this Catholic diocese situation that is hitting Pennsylvania right now, Lord. And I don't want to exclude other denominations, Lord, because we are all supposed to be one body under Christ, Lord. I pray that the ones that are victimizing these people are brought to the light, Lord, as you have brought them to the light, Lord, as you have shown us what they are doing and as they state in your name, Lord, and we know that any sin cannot be in your name, Lord. Let the folks that are striving to be with you have more faith, Lord, knowing that actions that are against God cannot be of God, Lord. May they understand that man is faulted, Lord, that man has blemishes, that man is a treacherous being from the day he was born, Lord. May they turn to you, Lord and not to man to know that God is good. May they turn to you in faith and understand and read your word, Lord, that they may know exactly who you are, what you expect, Lord, and what is the characteristics of a great almighty God that you are, Lord. Lord, may you help the victims and heal the victims, Lord, both physically, spiritually, and mentally, Lord, May you comfort them, Lord. May you help them know that God loves them, that God is still God. Man is a barrier at times that distracts and destroys and deters people from knowing who the true God is. And they need to know God. They need to realize that you are still the same loving God that has been long-suffering, patient, kind-hearted, and just waiting on us to do right, Lord. And may they understand that Satan is loose in this world, Lord, and he is working on any vessel that has any crack and gives them any opportunity to come at them, Lord. So watch over them and their families, Lord. And as days come when more and more of this comes to light, Lord, because we know that you will bring it to the light, may you comfort those and help those also, Lord. Lord, I pray that man realizes that his place is a servant, Lord, unto God. His action should be Christ-like. His thought should be Christ-like. And, Lord, we all fall short of this, Lord. We all do. But we pray that you give us the strength to strive to be more like Christ, to do things more like Christ would. And the first thing we have to do, Lord, is to love more, to love you more, Lord, to be more obedient, to be faithful, to be humbled, Lord, and then to love one another, Lord. And if we love one another as we truly would love ourselves, Lord, wanting us to do better, wanting us to know more, wanting us to be with you, Lord, we would truly love one another better, Lord. So today I'm praying, Lord, for the victims, Lord, <clears throat> and I'm praying for the priests, Lord. I'm praying for the ministers and any of these predators that are out there that are finding advantageous situations and utilizing them, may they stop, Lord. May they be shown the true light, Lord. And may the church get stronger, Lord, and show more light in this world than what we are, Lord. Let this be something that we stand up for and say, this is not of God. These actions are not of God. Sin is not of God. May we put that out in the world, Lord, and be better beacons, Lord. Be stronger lights, Lord. Be more faithful lights, Lord. More obedient lights in this world so that people will see the glory 
that we have from you so people will see how good you are to us and want to be where we are, Lord, and that is loving you faithfully, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray today, Lord. Amen.